Using the spline growth method, I'm going to show you how to create a quick ponytail for our character. So here's the workflow that we're going to go into to create this. And this is going to be a very rough system. I just want to show you the workflow. So I've got this tube that I've created here. It's just an extruded surface, nothing fancy. I'll go into isoparms, select this surface, and go to uh, surfaces, edit curves, du duplicate surface curves. And that's going to give me a set of curves here that are these duplicates. So I'll select all of those duplicates and I'll go to shave create new hair and I'll just try the SP or the spline brunette okay, there we go and at this point now we can make any modifications to this surface that we want so we might want to go into the control vertexes here uh, control vertices I'm sorry and go ahead and make some of these modifications and pull some of this hair out so it's not in the way of the scalp here this okay just so we can play with this a little bit now what I'll do is I'll take all of these curves group them control G and then just move them into the neck and with the neck selected I'm just gonna set a couple keyframes so I'll set a um, translation keyframe here let me go ahead and set this to local okay and then I'll go to uh, frame 22 and just move this forward set another key so we'll rewind play there we go so that's gonna be our movement now fortunately for us we do have history working for us so we can go back into this curve uh, extruded uh, surface here out of these NURBS curves and we can go ahead and scale that out a little bit okay a little volume here can add a little bit of volume here a little bit of width and we can tie this down a little bit tighter okay so let's talk about now that we've got this set up what we could do with this because now we're in a position where we can utilize a number of different systems to get the look that we're after so with our hair selected we can now go in and activate live mode and there we go we see it simulating and it's gonna dip all the way down so let's increase the stiffness let's just scroll this down here I still have go I still have it going okay we're gonna increase the stiffness kind of bounce it back I want the ends to be soft we'll increase a little bit of root hold and we'll add a little bit of dampening okay so I'm gonna stop our live mode here rewind this simulate and it says I need to add a cache that's no problem we'll go ahead and add this to my V temp file it'll be cache lesson 37 yeah 37 actually there we go and we'll just say uh, we'll delete the old cache files that might be in there run that and there we go so let me add a few more frames here let me open up my uh, range slider here there we go and we'll just add a few more frames and we'll play this back and cache it there we go so we can go in we can hide all this hide the curves and it's just a quick and easy way of creating a fast ponytail of course you can tighten this up and get it the exact way you want it to look um, this is happening from our uh, let me bring my curves back this curve right here I believe it's this curve and this curve were the first curves to get selected so that's kind of an issue sometimes you may want to select the curve starting underneath and going around because you may have a seam like this uh, if that's the case you can just go in and adjust the vertices 
to share the same space as this, and you'll get a nice tube of hair. So that's just a quick way of creating an alternate type of um, s dynamic system. You can also use cloth, Maya cloth, or Cyflex to simulate that and then have your hair grow out of the surface that way. And of course, if you put more hair on this character and have all of them come back to a bun, you can stiffen that greatly. So only thing that's affected is back here, the tail. So that's, that's a quick way of making a, a ponytail alternate method as opposed to just drawing out your curves.